your camera angle! <laughs> hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. No, I would not like to hear the golf rules. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I also fixed the uh, whole jitteriness on the... Uh, I don't know if that's true, I mean you're still aiming for the lowest score. But anyway, <laughs> I fixed the jitteriness on the uh, more... 3D-ish screen by just changing the frame skip over to one. So yeah, that's that's something that's gonna be pretty easy on the eyes in the future. Um, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, you're not going anywhere after you say after you're saying excuse me, but whatever, whatever. So I'm gonna go pop in over here at the Marion Club Practice Center. It says here, it's a Marion Club Practice Center. Yeah. That, that's for people who don't have the pop-up boxes, I guess. <laughs> so, if you go into the pause menu by pressing start and clicking story status, looking over here, there's side games for 100%! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be going through all sorts of stuff, and we're gonna see how much I can get done in this part here, because, you know, you never know how things will take, you know, how long things will take, especially when it comes to golf and whatnot. Um, cool, cool. So, like the Lynx Club course of death. <laughs> well, you just gotta keep practicing. I know it's possible. Yeah, it's... <laughs> that is a thing that you gotta kind of kind of kind of work on just trying to position yourself well for the next shot and yeah sure let's go for the tee shot class why not it should be good to it <laughs> should be good times so well what about other courses though <laughs> yeah see like that there <laughs> you just gotta think of the future there's, there's different courses to play there's more techniques to master and yeah I, they're just gonna have this debate on what what they should or shouldn't be doing, and well, the people who don't master the stuff is gonna kind of fall behind, or the other ones are gonna be on the, the Lynx course eventually. <laughs> hmm, that is true too, but but it's still you know it's still a matter of positioning and maybe some power at certain times to get yourself in better positioning. So yeah, it does definitely look more like the Lynx Club course with all that heath. Yeah, all those green tufts of grass there are heath and whatnot. By the way, try not to get your ball in bunkers or water and stuff like that as their hazards. I mean, if you drop it in the water, you'll get a one-stroke penalty. Yeah, we know trees. Everyone knows a tree or two. And yeah, the mounds will bounce your ball around every which way like crazy. So... Yeah, those places are the safe spots. And if you should get 7 out of 10 shots in there, you will win. <laughs> but will I be able to do it? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I probably will. Especially since I fixed the whole frame skip thing, because the game even feels a lot better to play. <laughs> so he's gonna give a little, give a little rundown of um, what we're trying to do here. But, uh, yeah, you just kind of like going da 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 Yeah, ye old driver will take him all the way to the spots. Well, well, maybe. I mean, he's, he's gonna go for that spot. And in all honesty, I, I think that's the worst of the two spots that he has range to. Like, shouldn't he be aiming for the one closest to him just so that he's got an easier shot to it, and then you can shoot at the angle to the green. I mean, yeah, it's a risk-reward type thing, but still, that, that doesn't sound like the best place to go by. Yeah, see? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he's just giving me a rundown. It, he already said this before, but yeah, there's three spots that you can land it at, but I am going to be going for this one. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think that actually might be my best landing spot, as it'll keep me rolling in there. And let's see what I got there. Oh yeah, the timing feels way, way better now that I uh, changed the frame skip thing. So yeah, there we go, and I am in! Woo! Oh, I thought, I thought you had to get 7 out of 10 in the pooper, well, okay. <laughs> 
Well, whatever. And that works for me too, I guess. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I'm thinking of a, a different one that I gotta do a little bit later on. Mm, mm, well, sort of, kinda-ish. It's still not that difficult to get in there, really. I just set up for my drive distance. <laughs> uh, mm, 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 no, that wasn't luck. I don't think so. Okay, let's see what other peeps have to say about that. Uh, oh. Well, let's... Look, hold on a sec. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Okay, so this must be the one that I was thinking of. So yeah, now it's gonna be like 7 out of 10, right, right, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. So basically I'm gonna be focusing on the closest one because, you know, it's right in my drive distance range, so yeah. Uh, otherwise, maybe I would go for the furthest one over there, even though it's kind of iffy with the whole, you know, fast fairway thing over there, because if you hit the fast fairway, it'll keep rolling. And that's that's that different colored type of fairway over there. Anyway, I'm just gonna kind of, yeah, that was pretty good. Should be just fine. The mount will actually keep it under control, come to think of it, if it actually goes a little offline. So there we go, one for one. And it always seems to pop me over off to the side for some odd reason. I don't understand why that is, but, well, that that's how things go, and I'm offline on this one, so that's not going to work. Oh, wait, 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 maybe it will. Uh, oh, oh, yep, it worked. I'm just barely in the line. See, you can, if you're touching the white line, it'll still count, so your, so your area is wider than it actually looks. And I'm going to need some topspin for that one. I didn't hit it at full power. So it's going to hit that... It's gonna hit that bump there, and then it's, yeah, the top spin will take it in. So there we go, three out of three. Things are looking good for me. I am a poet and knew it. Oh shoot, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, that one's gonna be definitely out. Yeah, see, it's still about the timing more than anything. Three for four, whatever, that's all right. That actually wouldn't be a bad position. Oh shoot! <laughs> that other spot wouldn't actually be that bad of a position or anything like that. It's just that we're we're aiming for circles here, and thus that is a miss. Okay, mm I need to be focusing a little better here. And there we go. That is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, I'm getting getting too overconfident after I got those couple in a row there. I guess. And go. That should be fine. It, you're gonna be like a, a notch or two off the mark, and you'll still be within range of the circle. Because the notch or two doesn't really knock you that far offline at the impact area on the right side of the swing gauge. But it's, you know, it's just a thing that you should be aiming for center every time anyway, just for the sake of practice, and, well, it just makes it easier to get in the circles. You're aiming for the longest part of the circle. And this should do it if I get it in. Oh, that's in. <laughs> that is perfectly in. Yeah, look at that. Stopped right in the center. Well, a tiny bit left of center, but I got 7 out of 10. Let's see if I can get 8 out of 10. Well, I got 7 of 9, but oh wow, perfect shot. That's gonna go a little longer than my other shots, but it's still gonna be in the circle. But yeah, it's because I wasn't hitting perfect power on the other shots. But that is okay with me. Side quests complete! Uh, mm, uh, mm. I'll level up Neil, there we go. And by the way, you'll notice that when you do, like when you change a stat of one, other stats may or may not change. Uh, so you're gonna have to watch that as you go along. I'll, I'll get into that more when they actually start changing. But yeah, it's just a thing of that. Uh, you gotta sort of kind of balance out your character in a way so for, the t for the typing that you want them to be and whatnot, so yeah. I said whatnot twice there, but whatever, whatever. I passed it. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Never mind my choice of words. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I did that in the tournament. Wasn't it like eight in a row at, the, at one point? I'm sure I'll do even better when I get the, my distance and timing up the snuff too. Alright, I'm done here, I do believe. I go to story status, side games. See, there's shot lesson one. That was the one 
Uh, yeah, short shot contest shorts. Yeah, those are those ones there that I can do. So I'm gonna plop on over. Yeah, this is the approach, right? Oh, iron shot drive range. I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> Mm, yeah, sure, sure, why not? Oh, I should have talked to the other person first, but whatever. Mm, mm, mm. You can already hit the greens consistently from here. There's not much more I could teach you. That is true because getting on the greens in regulation, as I said before, is a pretty good skill to have because then you get two putt for power or one putt for birdie. But. But. That's probably the hard part of golf, <laughs> is actually getting on the greens in regulation. So this is probably the most important thing to be practicing on. Uh, I think there is a certain range that you got to be working on here uh, that will give you similar to the driving range. Yep, there's the circle. See, there's the drop off behind the hole. And this is what I was talking about when I was playing the tournament, is that I was aiming for specific spots on the green to make it so that I would have the easiest putt back for par or birdie or whatever I happen to be uh, going for at the time. So I would be aiming for those specific spots. And let's get ourselves in... Oh, you can be showing it first. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that, because, because the power shot you could use a, a, a smaller club, and that means that you can get more height on it. So consider that when it comes to your landings. See, see that right there? If you chose a power shot and it took a, a 7 iron, you could have had a higher trajectory and that would have made the ball stop faster. Uh, what? Uh, well, yes, but you don't have to... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it, it just seems like that taking a 9 iron is just way, way going back too far. I mean, I guess you had to move the camera around and stuff like that, but that just seemed... I don't know, obnoxiously unrealistic. <laughs> So he's hitting into the mound so that he can stop the ball a little bit quicker, but for me, I, I kind of prefer the backspin method, but that was a really good shot, by the way. That would definitely be a birdie putt if you're on the green in regulation. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. So yeah, here is my style of doing it. I don't know about that. I mean, I, I hey, there was a double space after that A. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, over left side of the mound, but... As I was saying, I, I kind of prefer having the backspin shots. So what I'm gonna... See, I can do a power shot, and then I can do, like, a landing... Well, actually, that that would be kind of a bad way to land it if I landed it there. Well, actually, let's give it a try, just for kicks. And backspin. Because I got the more height from the power shot and stuff like that. And the backspin should keep it in line. Yeah, that's, that's a good shot. <laughs> see, that's more in my style of how I prefer to do things. But... You can do things however you're comfortable with. Golf is a very results-based game, so yeah, it doesn't matter how the shot looks, just as long as you get it within range of birdie time, <laughs> basically. And... Mm, mm, uh, hold on, I want to talk to that other person here really quick. <laughs> just, just really quick, because I, I kind of missed that. How's it going there? Um... Yeah, it kind of was, and that was the thing that I was showing you, giving me the extra height with the power shot. Alright, let's do the mini game. Let's do some stick shots. Yep, 7 out of 10. Sound familiar? Yep. These mini games are basically consistency tests, and look at that, the circle is even smaller than it was before. Uh, so I'm gonna plop it back over there and do my style again, because that is the way that I'm used to. That might be a little offline. Maybe not, because I'm using an iron. Yeah, that's good enough to be in the circle. See, if I, uh, the smaller the club that you hit, the more accurate it's going to be as well. So, you know, when you go down to, say, an approach wedge, as, a pro, as opposed to a 5 iron, your off, off hits on the impact area of the power gauge will show a lot more, just because it's, it's a harder to hit club. You know, it's got a flatter face angle, and... Being a little offline, it'll equal a lot offline back over at the target area. Ooh, going, going, going. Okay, there you go. I wasn't sure if that was gonna make it there for a second. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll aim it a little bit further. I think it's further is actually safer here. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm offline. Well, that might not matter too much. Uh, it did. <laughs> 
Oh well. I think that still would have been a birdie putts. Maybe. Maybe. Because my putting's pretty solid. But still. But still. I do want to be in the circle as often as possible. And this is actually a good training drill for uh, in real life golf. Is that you want to get within like a say a three three foot circle or so on your shots but you know it, it's hard to do that consistently so that's the thing about having it as a training drill is that you can keep it going and oh that's a really good one <laughs> but that yeah, if you can keep your streak going for as long as possible you'll build consistency on the actual course course because you're used to hitting those shots in. and anyway let's just keep going with our Hopefully 7 out of 10 here. Ooh, I'm getting good at that. <laughs> See, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So, just gotta keep practicing until it becomes second nature. There's a saying that goes something like, um, amateurs practice until they get by and pros practice until they can't get it wrong or, or something like that. I forgot how it went. But yeah, that's that's the key to good practice, is to make sure that you get things over and over and over again until... Oh, that looks good too. Yeah, I'm on the flat part, so that's, that's birdie time. And I passed the challenge, but let's see how many I can get in a circle in a row anyway. I mean, I should say out of ten anyway. It, as I said, still a good drill, so keep it going. Don't, don't just quit after seven. <laughs> And, 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 and... Go! Fly! Fly away! This actually won't be as good as the other one. <laughs> I can just tell by its landing. But there we go. Woo! 9 out of 10! And experience gain. I'm going to give that to Neil, and I'm still gonna focus on the power-ups. There we go. And new course unlock! You know, the, the, the star hole things are things that I am unlocking in a totally different mode than the main game. So, you'll actually see me do that sort of thing later on, later on, once I actually unlock every one of those type things. So, yeah. So, thank you, thank you. That That's the key to practice. Keep practicing until you can't do it wrong. <laughs> In fact, you might even want to try and do that until you get like 10 out of 10 for kicks. Like, can... Well, actually, can you redo that game? Uh... Uh... Uh, maybe you can't. Well, you could recreate the game by just, yeah, hitting the A button there and saying practice here and then going for the green for your own challenge. Like, say... Um, you know how at the left side of the screen you see pin at 129 yards? Well, what you can do is say, try and get within eh, 15 feet or so. I did use a power shot there. I want a lower trajectory shot just to do something different, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm within se uh, I'm at 7 feet there, so that would be a successful uh, shot there. So what you would do there is try and get as many of them as possible in a row. Um, well, looking at the time for the part, I think I'm going to end it off here because I don't want a super long part <laughs> like, like the first part. So yeah, it's probably a good idea to end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my golfing adventure. Yeah. <laughs>